Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Red Dead Redemption. I'm RJ. No one is more excited for Red Dead Redemption 2 than us. Always make sure to check back on the main Trippy Commentaries page for our Countdown to Red Dead Redemption 2 playlist because we'll make sure to keep you updated on all new information as soon as it comes out. Now, as of right now, there's really nothing new coming out officially. There's a couple rumors, but I'll be getting to that in an upcoming episode. In this episode, I really wanted to cover a huge leak that we had in the past that I'm starting to think is extremely legit. And then also I wanted to cover a pretty big addition to Grand Theft Auto V that they added. Kind of a secret addition to Grand Theft Auto V that I think would be a perfect thing to add for Red Dead Redemption 2. So I'll get to that shortly. Now when it comes to leaks, guys, I know a lot of you are thinking Rockstar is so tight-lipped, we're not going to get any leaks of official information to come out anytime soon. But in this day and age, it is very easy for hackers to at least get some details. And one thing that, of course, was leaked was a possible map. For Red Dead Redemption 2. We covered this here at the channel and at the time I was like yeah maybe it's real I don't know but I'm starting to gather that it is legit guys. Now of course you never know but this really does look like the Red Dead Redemption 2 map. Rockstar did an amazing job with the first Red Dead Redemption by making each area feel unique and if you look at this map it looks like they're going to multiply that for RDR 2. You can see there looks to be a frozen region up there to the north, a mountainous area. Even the far west there looks kind of like California, so I'm wondering if they have all of Cali, perhaps San Andreas, right there in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, we here at Trippy Commentaries are based in Florida. I see some island areas there in the southeast. I'm not sure if Florida is going to be represented. That looks a little bit more like Louisiana, but it still looks to be a chance that all of America could be represented in Red Dead Redemption 2. That would be pretty stunning. So we'll have to see if Rockstar can pull it off. Once again, guys, this does look legit. One other thing that I need to point out is Red Dead Redemption really didn't have any massive cities. We know that Rockstar is pretty well known for their big cities, especially with Grand Theft Auto. So that's something that Red Dead Redemption really needs. What if they add a sprawling metropolis on top of, you know, all the, the western locations and the mountains and all of that, they also have to give us a huge city. And even though it's back in the old west and all that, there's not going to be a major New York City-like place, but they still could have a giant city, or at least something bigger than we saw here in Red Dead Redemption. There was one big city, but I think they need to times it by 11 for the next game. One of the big additions with the next-gen version of Grand Theft Auto V was first-person mode. So many people are predicting that first-person mode will make its way to the new Red Dead game. I really hope so. That would make for a perfect addition in that Old West setting. But one mode that many people haven't talked about, it's kind of a secret mode here in GTA V, is the ability to transform into animals. And considering Red Dead Redemption puts Grand Theft Auto V to shame when it comes to wildlife, we definitely need them to continue this trend in Red Dead as well. Uh, hopefully more than a rabbit. I'm hoping to turn into like a grizzly or something there. I mean, this is kind of a lame example, but nonetheless, we definitely hope that we can do this in Red Dead. I will point out, this doesn't seem to be a full feature here in GTA 5. In fact, it seems to be more of an afterthought. There's nothing to do other than attacking the citizens of San Andreas. There's basically zero to do with the animals, especially with all of the fish and, you know, the sharks, anything underwater. So hopefully they can bring it back and add a ton to it in Red Dead Redemption 2. Perhaps make missions that you can only complete with the animals. Who knows what Rockstar can do if they actually build upon uh, controlling the animals of these games. Once again, Red Dead Redemption really did put GTA V to shame. There's a lot more animals in that game. So they really need to kind of build up on this animal controlling mechanic and make it a huge part of the game. Not only are we controlling the cowboys and everybody in the Wild West, maybe there will be a whole animal section of the game as well. I know it sounds crazy, but look at this. They added the ability to turn into a freaking rabbit. Hopefully Rockstar can take it to the next level. Now 
Thanks again for joining up for the episode, guys. Definitely stay tuned here. Trippy commentaries. Subscribe if you're new and drop a like. That is very much appreciated. And let me know if you guys have any ideas about the new features that will be added to Red Dead Redemption 2. We've heard that it's going to be more of the same, which is a great thing. I mean, Red Dead was a masterpiece, and they really focused on the storyline. So if they can do that with adding brand new features to the game, it could really be a hell of a lot better than even Grand Theft Auto V. Catch you guys next time. As always, what are you doing, Ron? Make sure to stay trippy, my friends.